All right, we are live, and I made sure to actually click my mic to make sure it was on. Because last stream, I streamed for most of the time being completely muted because I am an idiot. So thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. The big game just got done, I believe. It looked like um, the Rams end up uh, finishing up that game. So we are going to hop into some Pokemon and let's go. There we are. All right. Checking to make sure again my mic is unmuted because I didn't do that last time. So we are playing some Pokemon Clockwork. Um, off stream a few hours ago, AC Metric uh, followed us here on Twitch. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for following me on Instagram as well. Let's go ahead and let's get going. So we kind of went into last stream. Uh, we ended up finishing in this kind of ghost town area that was through this forest but now i want to see if we can um get through to the next town because i don't think we can f like clear up this entire uh i don't think we can completely finish uh what this whole um forest is so we need to be able to go north the Wilba Forest, and then Ontary City. We were in last... Hmm. We were in a different city in the ghost town. So I wonder if that ghost town is actually on the map or not. Hmm. Interesting. All right, who do, uh, who do we have up first? Oh, wrong button. Let's see. Uh, Peaky Thunder is at 33. Okay. I think... What does Dreadwood have on him? Um, actually, let's go to Summary. He's got the EXP share. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's go north. Let's see if we can get through the Builder Forest and get to the next city. Taking out that Starly. In one Thundershock. One glorious Thundershocking event. Feels like I haven't streamed in forever, but I guess it was, what, Wednesday? Thursday? I think it was Wednesday. So it, it's, been a, it's been a minute, but it hasn't been. It feels like it's been way longer. But it feels good to stream again. I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow as well. Uh, if you are checking me out on Twitch, look at my schedule. Uh, Mondays, I stream Minecraft. I have a single-player world that I play on. It is a 1.17 world, but I've updated it to... I've, I've loaded it in 1.18, so hopefully new chunks generate 1.18 stuff. Of wild Stantler. I don't think we've seen any Stantler in this forest. Is this what the forest is supposed to look like? Because this is not what the forest looked like before. <gasps> A Surskit! We need to get one of these. I'm probably going to end up fainting it. Oh, yeah. There are some trainers. Yeah, this is not what the uh, Bewilder Forest looked like last time. Something about this forest gives me nostalgia. I wonder why. Oh, you're a bug catcher. We have still not encountered a, like, a decent fire type. Really, any fire types. Oh, Ledeon is so cool. I love the, like, fightery, like, the very fighty bug look. Uh, that is ridiculous. I need to heal up after that. Jeez. Jeez. 
Yeah, Listel. It was like Listelia? Listella? Town is what the name of the town was that we went to. Um, with with uh, Sullaby in the past. Oh, we did not mean to use you twice. Let's see who the stronger trainer is. Butterfree. Uh, let's use a Thunderbolt. Oh, and you are taken down, Sir Butterfree. Aridos. There we go. Ooh, such a good cry. Like a good Pokemon cry. Dreadwood grew to level 30. All right, let's um, let's swap out the item. I think we have a miracle seed for you. Yes, we do. Swap that out, and now we will give the uh, EXP share to Harvey. There we go. Get Harvey up a few levels. Oh, another bug catcher. Another bug catcher. Ooh, Yanma. Took out that little, little Yanma. Yanma. Alright, let's get this Surskit out of the way. Lady Surskit. There we go, PK Thunder level 34. Trying to learn Faint. I forget what Faint does. I don't think we're going to switch moves, but I'd like to look. Attack that hits a target using Protect or Detect. It also lists the effects of those moves. Oh, that would be, okay, that would be a good, like, sh like if you know, like if you're doing a trainer battle against, like a link battle against someone and you know that they have a Pokemon who uses Protect or Detect, that would be a good one um, to use. Um, no, we'll, we'll keep battling with... Oh, that is an awful sound. Oh, that sent chills down my spine. Oh. Oh, that like warped kind of buzzing makes it like, especially wearing headphones, it feels directly in your ear. Oh. Oh, like I got chills down my whole body now. Not pleasant. Oh, it looks like some Stantler with some kids. Maybe that's the... That's the thing, the Stantler have been kidnapping the kids. Which is weird. Shroomish, a wild shroomish. You don't have a shroomish. Another shroomish. There we go, okay. That's not bad. Let's see if we can use a great ball to catch it. There we go. There we go. It loves to eat damp composted composted soil in forest. If you enter a forest after a long rain, you can see many shroomish feasting on composted soil. Sweet. All right, we would like to give a nickname to this shroomish. Yes, we would. Shroomish. Let's look up some good shroomish nicknames. Roomish.
There we go. Good shroomish nicknames. Plant man. Lettuce. He kind of looks like a... Um, like an ups, like a almost like a, a mushroom, like the cap of a mushroom. But I'm not quite sure. What would we give to a shroomish? What kind of one would we give to a shroomish? Um. Ooh, I have someone. That oh, I found one that says Luigi. That could be really fun because it's very, um, uh, very Luigi from Super Mario Brothers like. That could be cool. I like that. Luigi. I dig it. There we go. Checking messages. Oh, all right. Some more trainers. More trainers coming up. Ooh, we have a Pineco. Pineco. Did you ever look at a Pokemon and go, I bet that Pokemon is not delicious? It, uh,. It, it definitely does not look like it would be a very pleasant Pokemon to eat. I would have to say. Did I just not pay attention and just knock that Pokemon out? I think that's just what happened. I, I, that makes me a little mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that makes me a little grumpy. Alright, uh, Vespa Queen. Exerting its pressure, okay. Well, let's see if we can knock you out with one Thunderbolt. Let's see if we can make that happen. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, how close is our Harvey to leveling up? Ooh, just 116? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, what's this? Stantler's Den. Okay, let's, uh, we know kind of what's gonna happen there. So let's, let's see if we can work around it a little bit. Cause I wanna make sure I have, um, let's see if I can explore everything thus far. So we need, how about we send Harvey out? Maybe we should send Harvey out, because he's our lowest ranking Pokemon, and we can always switch him out later if we need to. This will help us in catching some of these Pokemon, I believe. I believe. <gasps> Ooh, an Ninkata. I love Ninkatas. Don't you faint him. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Just let me catch you. They're such a cool, a cool Pokemon. There it is. Caught him. Caught him. And you grew to level 27. Feather Dance. This is the one that or wait, that's Sword Dance. What's Feather Dance do? Covers the target's body with a mass of down that harshly lowers its... Ah, oh, okay. Sword Dance is the one that, like, raises the attack. So, I already know what we're going to name this one. We're going to name him Naruto. Because he's a ninja. But he's not orange. We could have named him Rock Lee, but that doesn't really, like, it's not going to be as evocative of, of, of ninjas if I just said Naruto. So let's go this way. Another Shroomish. There we go. Critical hit. Oof. 
another Ninkata. We'll choose Aerial Ace. Let's see how that works on him. There we go. Working through. All right, let's see if we can get the Surf Skin. Quick attack. Oof, too much, too beefy, too beefy of an attack. All right, let's get this this chest and we'll go back and see if there's an encounter. Ooh, let's get this pine cone. All right, we cannot get distracted. We gotta get him. Ooh, just enough, just enough. He hung on with sun. <gasps> no, you didn't. What a, what a poop. What a poop. That makes me a little grumpy. What a poop. Alright. Um, let's see if we can gust this guy out of here. Super effective. Super effective. Fishing for hours. You could use, really use a battle right now. Oof. Alright, you only got two Pokemon, so what you got? Ooh! Ooh, that's Water Electric. I don't like this. Um, let's see if we can Aerial Ace him out. Ooh, not very effective. I knew it! It's smart, it's smart, but man, that makes me grumpy. Alright, let's, um, let's send out Dreadwood. Dreadwood should be able to help out here a little bit. Bullet Seed. Super effective. Rockana. There we go. Alright, so let's move let's move Regina up into the primary spot for now because we had our our Harvey got knocked out, so we'll we'll do that. Ooh, wild Yanma, let's catch him. Let's catch him. Let's catch him. Hmm. Fury swipes, maybe? Okay. Okay, not bad. Alright, let's see if we can Great Ball with as much health as he has left. There we go. We are catching left and right today. Alright. We are catching left and right. It can see 360 degrees without moving its eyes. It is a great flyer capable of making sudden stops and turning midair to quickly chase down targeted prey. Sweet. All right, let's give uh, Yan Ma one. Um, Yan Ma. Does the does the dragonfly and Spyro have a name? Let's see. Dragonfly Spyro. Sparks. Sparks is his name with an X. Let's do that. I like that. There we go. All right, let's go mess with the Stantler. Oh, we never caught our Surf Skit. We need to catch our Surf Skit. Oof. Those are big hits. Okay.
Ooh, almost, almost. Too much, too much. That poison sting did too much damage. Hopefully we encounter another Surskit. Ooh, a Rosalia. We haven't caught one of them yet. Poison Sting. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I needed the paralysis. That's fantastic. Alright, um, let's see if we can catch you. There we go. Rosalia. Hot. Let's see. A Rosalia. Rosalia. That drinks nutritionally rich spring water blooms with lovely flowers. The fragrance of its flowers has the effect of making its foes careless. All right. So what can we do for a nickname for Rosalia? Let's see what the internet has said. So we have a female Rosalia. Um... That is fantastic. I saw someone named it Axel because it's a rose Pokemon. That's fantastic. I'm stealing that. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is so good. I love it so much. All right, so we can do Axel. And that's how Axel Rose spells his name. That is awesome. Be a Surskit? Oh no, another Yamma. That's okay, we can get some experience off of you. Maybe. All right. So let's hop into here. Oh, there's some Stantler. Okay. They're all kind of wandering around. There's some kids. You can't keep us here forever. Our parents are going to get worried. And we're out of food now. Yeah, and my feet hurt. I want my mommy. Please, Mr. Stantler, let us go home. Oh, here I come to save the day. Hey, mister, can you please, can you help us, please? It won't let us leave. I need to get back to, we need to get back to our parents. I wonder if the kid, like, if it's one of those things where the kids have something and that's what's making the Stantler, like, be aggressive. So, like, they're carrying a certain food or something with their young. I'm betting it's something like that. Well, that's just rude. Yes, let's use Shelly. Bubble Bean. Ooh, took you down with a single beam. Thank you, mister. Let's go home now. Awesome. Can I interact with any of the others? Okay, guess not. I came into this forest to look for berries, but now I don't know how to get out. Could you help me find my way back to Route 4? Yes. Oh, lost and found. Okay.
make sure I have our quest stuff ready just in case we need it. This one seems pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to walk the kid back, so I don't imagine it, um, it being very difficult. Uh, we can't run. Okay, that's fine. It's not a very difficult, not a very difficult quest, so we can do this pretty easily, I think. You just gotta walk him back here. Wonderful, heal our Pokemon. Oh no, he does nothing. So now we have to go slow. He doesn't heal our Pokemon. We have to walk him backwards. What a poop. Oh, I did not think about this. Alright, Dragon Breath. Oof. Okay, so let's go to Pokemon. And let's switch. And let's put Piki Thunder at the beginning of the party. <laughs> just to help when these things happen. But we definitely do need to heal up. Oh, let's. We don't need to walk through the um, well, tall grass there. Another shroomish. Well, it's Thunderbolt. There we go. Thank you for bringing me back to Route 4 here. I found these in the forest. I hope they're useful. A big root. And a Cherish Ball. See me around. Is there a house here? Completed. Is there, like, a house here that I can use to uh, heal up? I felt like there was a house here. Um, let's run. No. Let's go see if we can heal up. Let's go heal up. That way we can have good strong Pokemon for the next part of the forest. Got away safely. There we go. Alright, people are still sitting around. So it must mean we haven't finished um, this whole kind of section entirely. This old lady will hear, heal us up. There we go. Um, and I think Harvey should still have. Yeah, Harvey still has that. That's fine. And let's make our way back up here so we can continue through Bewilder Forest. Starly don't care. Gonna thunder shock you out of here. Ooh, we've been streaming for a little over half an hour now. Thank you to all of you who are hanging out with us so far. 
Let me switch it over to chatting. There we go. And I wanted to say, uh, make sure you check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all at Mr. Retro. That's M-M-R-R-E-T-R-O. That's two M's, two R's, E-T-R-O. Check me out on YouTube. That's where this stream will be posted tomorrow, noon, Central Standard Time. Um, give it a like and a subscribe. That would help out a whole bunch. Let's jump back into it. Oh, I went back. Accidentally went back. There we go. Uh, We need to go right again. And we can walk up this side. None of our VR VIPs are on at the moment. Oh, I didn't know electric moves. Is he part ground? How interesting. I didn't know that. I guess if I paid attention more when I caught my Ninkata. Yanma! Wild Yanma! Alright, let's give you a little Thunderbolt. A little, a little Thunderbolty action. We definitely need to catch a Stantler. Ooh, let's do ourselves a save check since we did uh, that first little Stantler encounter. Ooh, there's a lady. There's a lady. There's another Yanma in our way. There we go. That, I mean, that's what you get. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that, like, wild encounter right as you are in, about ready to talk to somebody. Detect. I don't like it. This is where that faint would have come, came in handy. It's too bad. Pokemon look a little tired. Oh, a breeder. I can hear Pokemon if you like me to. Uh, yeah. I didn't know you were here. That's awesome. I'm super pumped. <laughs> because that's really awesome. I really wish that that's what you... I knew that's what you did before I went back. Some great balls. Awesome. Too bad I can't just, like, catch those meandering stamps. That would be very pleasant. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, for reals. Come on. Don't be like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm gonna be so grumpy. Come on, it's my only thing. You poop. Ugh. No, you get no more from me. We gotta talk to that lady, heal us up again. move through another shroomish now do I have to mess with these Stantler or are they just blocking the way like legit blocking the way like do I have to do something else beforehand
Oh. What just happened? Did they kick me all the way back to the beginning? No way. Did they just kick me all the way back to the beginning of this forest? Oh, a bell sprout. Oof. Oh, there's a wild Stantler. Ugh. Just, Peaky Thunder just has too much power. Okay, Ninkata, you better not pull the same sort of thing. Thank you. Otherwise, I was gonna get real grumpy. <laughs> Play on another quick attack. Is there anything in here that we can use as like a hint or a clue? Okay. Stantler Den. Okay. Is there a certain Stantler I have to interact with? I wonder. Hmm, it must, it must have something to do with coming back here. So, let's just, let's just do that then. Let's just come back here and talk to the people in the town again. And maybe they'll have something for us for those Stantler. It's, I mean, it's a good, a good uh, theory to test out. It doesn't take us too long to walk up there. It's just, it's so interesting that, that there hasn't been anything that's like outright said anything yet. So, hmm, it, I bet it's something back here in the town. It seems fairly likely. Let's talk to as many people as we can and see if we can figure it out. Kids are safe now, but our jobs are far from over. We're still gonna make sure that this town stays safe. Okay. They acknowledge what happened. Finding Skitty, okay. This is the berry lady. I need to give her cherry berries. She's an ongoing quest. I lost my boy to the forest six years ago. He was the first one to disappear from this town. Give me a fat cake. Thanks. So glad my son came back from the forest. He must have been so scared. Oh, it's you. I wanted to give you this since you saved us back there. Here, take it. An Eviolite. Ooh, I forget what those do. Well, let me see. Let me see. Mysterious evolutionary lump. When it when held, it raises the, the defense and special defense of a Pokemon that can still evolve. Such an interesting thing. Oh, that's a boost HP stealing moves. That's cool. I wonder if I get any other items. So glad she's back. Weather's well, so gross. Wouldn't she stop? I should probably let everyone know that the mean Stantler are gone now. Came back home. I'm the happiest man in the world. 
Thank you for saving from me. You know, here I pick these up on the way of course. Maybe you'll be able to use them. Citrus berries. One of the trainers that came here to help, but I worry about him with all these scary things that are happening. So you aren't giving me any information. But you. Hi there. A couple other trainers and I keep this town safe at nighttime. Even though the kids came back, we we can't help but stand guard to assure safety. I mean, that's, that's fair. Okay. So I talked to them. Now what? Do I need to talk to different people on the road? Maybe? Ah. Am I only fighting Pokemon that I know PK Thunder can just wipe out in one hit? Yes, yes I am. That is a thing that's happening. Uh, gonna capture more bugs. I hear that. Hmm. Bet I can't find like just maps of each forest. Like I know, you, I know you can um, of the mainline games. I should have maps of different routes, but for these fan-made games, I doubt you can find them. Okay, so nothing there. Careful around here, pal. Thank you, thank you. Keep training. That just takes us to the little area to jump. That's to the pokey chest. Let's go this way. You're unpleasant, thank you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Just, you're unpleasant. All right. Okay. I guess so. So I've noticed, and this is just something I've noticed, um, and, and maybe because I'm, I'm sensitive to the things that I do, um, because it's me and I'm overanalyzing what I'm doing, but I noticed that I have a really hard time like giving eye contact to the camera. So I'm thinking about putting like a face on the camera, like some googly eyes or something, so I can visualize the eye contact. And it's, it's one of those things where it probably doesn't make any difference to anyone else except me. <laughs> All right, can I go this way? Is there like a new path unlocked this way, maybe? I wonder what kind of water Pokemon are in this area. I should probably do some fishing. Let's look. Fishing, 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 fishing. Come on, come on. Not even a nibble, let's try again. Ooh, a bite, let's see. Let's see what you got. Oh, a Goldeen, okay. We've already got one of those. All right. Another Rosalia. Well, we've already got one of you, so unfortunately you're gonna have to go. A Surskit. Um, quick attack. Probably gonna knock you out. That's okay. Hmm. 
maybe this won't be knocked out since it's level 19? Oof, too much. All right. All right, let's put, let's put Harvey up front now. Get some more direct XP and we can um, utilize more of the uh, ability to catch some of those Pokemon since they're lower level. Lower level. Oh, a Teddy Ursa. We need one of those. Pick attack. Oh, too much. That makes me sad. I want a Teddy Ursa. They're so cool. All right, we still got the Stantler. Oh, those Stantler are gone. Maybe they just it wanted me to go back and talk to the kids. Okay. I mean, I, that's that's fair. That's nice. Oh, there's a bell sprout. Let's see if we can, let's can catch it. See if we can catch it. Oh, too strong. Too much. We'll have to come back here and farm some Pokemon. Yes, please heal. There we go. There we go. All right, we're in the next part of the forest. Still tall grass. A good critical hit that is also super effective. Ooh, we got a trainer coming up. Probably another bug catcher, which should be fine for Harvey. Harvey should be um, at or above level for all of those for the trainers here. Sit, sitting back and listening to the sounds of the forest is the most relaxing feeling I've ever felt. Huh, what an interesting uh, line into a battle. <laughs> uh, worm a dame, or worm Adam. Let's see if we can gust him. Good hit, good hit, good hit. All right, let's do it again. Watch him probably use a, a healing item on him, maybe? Nope. All right, that's fine with me. That's some good solid experience. Yeah, it is, wow. Okay, lots of tall grass here, wow. Oh, I would love to get the Sir Skit. Big attack, Ah, too much. Too much. All right, another trainer battle, probably with another bug catcher. Yes, it looks like a bug catcher to me. It's interesting because I don't know if it's because the the sprite is darker because it's supposed to be nighttime, or if it's uh like a like a black sprite, like a a, a black character. But it's a very white sprite on <laughs> when it does the close up for the battle animation. It's interesting. Ugh, I hate that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There we go. Do you have any more Pokemon? Because I hope not. <laughs> but a Heracross. 
Um, yeah, let's change because you've got you've got that you've got the exp share, so that's fine. We can we can split up the experience from the feeding hand across. Not bad, not bad. All right, but we do want to throw a super potion on you. There we go. Should help us there. Forest Bridge. My father used to take me fishing when I was your age. Now my Pokemon and I are strong enough to fight trainers like you. I like that there's just random Pokemon around. It's very, very neat. A Buizel. A Buizel. Is it a Buizel or a Buizel? I say Buizel because it's like Bowie. Holy Warl. I love the 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 Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath line. They're so cool. Ooh, I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. There we go. Send out Squirtle. Yes. Let's switch to PK Thunder. All right. And let's do a Thunderbolt. And let's swap Pokemon. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's heal up our Harvey. Actually, let's do this. Switch, there you go. Let's take this item away. And let's give it to you, Regina. EXP share. Oh, I thought I hit, I thought I hit A. All right, item, give. There we go. I was just about to land a Pokemon. You'll pay for this. Ha! Imagine a Poke mainline Pokemon game just have it just saying, damn it. A Marsh Stomp. That's cool. Oh, I messed up. There we go. Okay. Look at you, you poop. That makes me a little <laughs> like good. Good on you, Marshtop. That was clever. Ugh. Regina grew to level 27. Okay, good. Let's put, uh, let's put Dreadwood up front then. Another fisherman. Maybe Dreadwood can, um, uh, survive a little longer. Psyduck! I love Psyduck! They are fantastic.
Phoebus! Phoebus! No, I don't want to switch out for that. We gotta take out the Phoebus. Ooh. Wow! Bullet Seed one time knocked out a Phoebus. Horsey? Look at these great classic Gen 1. There we go. Grew to level 31. Fantastic. Trying to win a faint attack. Draws up to the foe disarmingly, then throws a sucker punch. It hits without fail. Um, we should probably take out fake out then. Take out fake out. Yeah, let's take out fake out. Since we do have a grass dark, might as well have a dark type move. All right, so we are now at the one hour mark. Let's check in with everybody, make sure everyone's doing okay. I see a few lurkers out there. I don't mind you lurking. It's actually a lot of fun for me to see people pop in and pop out. It's uh, pretty exciting actually. So, um, but if you do want to hang out and chat with us, give us a follow. And by us, I mean me, because I am just one person. And go ahead and uh, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all at Mr. Retro. That's M-M-R-R-E-T-R-O. That's two M's, two R's, E-T-R-O. Thank you guys. We're going to keep going for more Pokemon. All right, we've got a bug. A bug guy. A bug guy. Let's see what the bug guy wants. Ooh, a pineco. We I don't think we caught a pineco yet. There we go. Rapid spin. Who uses rapid spin? There we go. That's good. Not bad. Not bad. Combi. Nope. We're kind of we're kind of playing with fire here. Not literally because it's not fire Pokemon, but these are bug Pokemon and they can hurt us. So we're gonna be using a lot of these dark attacks. There we go. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Stop using dragon attacks. Come on. I do like the experience that both of them are getting. It is nice. It is pleasant. Hey, what's up, Grid? How you doing? And don't apologize for being late. We are making our way through Bilbilder Forest. Um, we actually had to help some kids escape some Stantlers. So now that we've done that, um, we can actually uh, kind of progress more through the forest to make our way to the next town. Now, I don't want a helping hand. Are you for real? Don't, don't play with me. My mic is on. I see it. Don't, don't you play with me. Are you playing with me? Because I see my mic moving when I, when I talk. You better, you better type back right now if I am, if I am silent. Don't you, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to me. You tell me right now if you can hear me. You better stop. I will test this out right now and it's going to be horrible on your ears because it's going to make a whole lot of feedback and it's going to be echoey. You can't see, you can't hear anything? Wait a minute. If you know what I just said, then you can hear. I don't know what you see moving, then you can see it. You definitely know. Y 
Yes. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But I can't hear you. There he is. What are you talking about? What are you what are you what are you doing? What what's happening? Alright. Anyway. We're gonna keep doing this now because Grit had already given me a heart attack. My gosh. Gonna drive me nuts. So I caught on to that joke. Yes, I caught on to the joke. I did catch on to the joke. Yes, make me very grumpy. Very grumpy indeed, sir. All right, uh, more bug Pokemon that we need to make sure. We don't let stay around for too long. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> um, let's do SmackDown. Yeah, we're trying to work our way through this forest. And yeah, we're getting some good levels. Good levels. I caught on to I caught quite a few Pokemon tonight too. We caught ourselves an Enkeda, a Yanma, a Shroomish, um, a Rosalia. So yeah, we're we're definitely filling out the Pokedex as we go. Um do I don't want to move up because I think that's where we need to go is up that way so let's let's kind of clear out some more of down here first another bug catcher of course oh wow I, there's a Pokemon you don't see in people's party too often Masquerain so how's everything going grid how was your Sunday Oof. Oof. Um. Switch out Regina. How did that go? Did he, did he enjoy it? Because Donnie Darko is one of those where... It's definitely like a, a cult classic movie. Um, you either like it or it's fine. Hard to tell. He's very confused. Yeah, the whole the whole time travel thing um, is very weird because it it ends up like encircling back on itself. But yeah, either people like Donnie Darko or they don't. It's been a while since I've watched it, though. Let's swap you out. Uh, did, um, did you and Kay ever get a chance to watch... Did you guys ever get a chance to watch Nightmare Alley or Antlers today? Hung on with Sturdy, that's what we like to see. Ah, uh, you poop. Come on. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what your logic is there, because both of those movies are many times better than Donnie Darko. <laughs> We're going to watch one tomorrow for our V Day Stay at Home Day. Oh, that's fun. Um,. Both of them are very good. Nightmare Alley is very long. Very long. Uh, Antlers? 
Antlers is more traditional scary than than you would think, but it does it does horror very well and talks on a lot of deep topics. Like it's pretty um, evident what they're using for a lot of analogies of like abuse and trauma. It's so good. Um, um, and Nightmare Alley is very long. Whew. It'll be one that people... That'll be the major complaint is that it's a long movie. I enjoyed it, but I imagine that'll be a big complaint of people watching the movie will be complaining that it's long. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's gotta it's gotta be worth the worth the length of the movie, um, and I would say it is. Um, yeah, it's not. Now it it is very noir in the fact that it doesn't have like traditional action. Um, so it's it's all drama, all story. Um, so it. If you aren't, um, if you don't know what you're getting into going in, I can definitely see people not liking it. It's it, the reason why I do that is because it's up for, uh, it's up for best picture nod. Um, yes, we have this conversation every time. <laughs> we, we've, we, you've asked me that about that movie probably half a dozen times. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I like that movie. Um, I think Matt would like it because of kind of the historical nature of it, um, and the implications that it could have, um, on, like, on, like, if that were to happen, um, like the the historical implications of of that kind of a thing happening, I think he'll enjoy it. Um, but it's it's up to, uh, but I, it's up to Matt. But I I really think he'd enjoy it. Do you heal? But be cautious, Stanley. We'll say that you'll lose your way if they use their hypnosis to come. Oh, you do not heal. I think Matt would like it though. It is a very fun take on um, on kind of that Vandal Savage kind of like the immortal man walking the earth forever kind of thing. I'm going to watch Southland Tales next time we all hang out to watch a movie Matt. Matt. Okay. Oh awesome! Southland Tales is good. There's a, a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal, and I forget the actor's name. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Uh, Yaha Abdul Mateen, uh, the second. He and Jake Gyllenhaal are in a movie uh, called Ambulance. It's in LA. It's set in LA, and they like. They kind of take oh, take an ambulance hostage as they are fleeing from like a, a, a bank robbery or something. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, it it's one of those that it looks really good, but I don't think it's gonna perform very well because I think movies like that, a la Bad Boys, aren't aren't the movies that are gonna be the big blockbusters anymore. Those like big budget action movies. Poop. Why are we throwing poops in chat? Don't you dare self-destruct. Oh, goodness. Alright. Just showing off your emoji. <laughs> Alright. So, if, uh... If you ever subscribe to my channel grid, you will get a uh, you will get the um, 
little uh, icon next to your name. Right now, it's got that little gem for VIP. Uh, you'll get the joystick for um, for my channel. A pineco hangs from a tree branch and waits for prey. While eating, if it is disturbed by someone shaking a tree, it falls on the ground and suddenly explodes. I plan to when to start work. Awesome! I definitely look forward to it, man, and I appreciate it. We got to come up with a good name for a tree, uh, for a pine co. Confirmation interview for the supervisor position tomorrow. That's awesome, man. That'll be that'll be a lot of fun. I have training all day tomorrow, um, but my training is just going to be sitting right here. I don't know if I want to to name it Pine Bomb. I don't think I want to do that. Um. We have a pine tree in our yard, and it just kills the grass. Like, the, the pine needles have too much. Uh, the first monster my grid watch, ra Rangers, fought was named Pine Bomb. Pain Cone. I like Pain Cone. Pain Cone works. Um, but, uh, oh, that's cool. We have, a tr we have a pine tree in our yard, and it just kills the grass. The acid from, like, the pine needle acid or oil just kills the grass. Drives me nuts. Whenever we are able to, I definitely want to um, get that tree removed. It's like a nice big tree, too, which is a shame. It's just we've had limbs fall off when we've had ice storms. It's just a pain. Ooh. Oh, accidentally hit the thing. Oh, man. Oh, that's our exit. Chapter five, new friends. So there's probably a little area that we that we missed, which is okay. That's not a, a huge deal. We're in a new city. City is known for its annual Pokemon contest. I just wish we had a gym in this city, though. Oh, so we don't we don't do a gym battle in this one. Came here all the way from Vulcan City to watch the Pokemon contest. I heard that the cool clown crew are here too. All right. Oh, let's, um, so that's like the, oh, that's just the next thing. Terry Square. Uh, my Pokemon campaign, there will be a gym that is bear Pokemon instead of a specific type. That's interesting. It's interesting to go on type of Pokemon instead of Pokemon type. Like you could do fish Pokemon. But they could just have, you know, multiple typings. Probably all based with water in them, too. Lure Ball. Also be an EV gym. Of course there would be. I just want there to be more evolutions. Like, just give us one of every type already. To figure out what to wear for tomorrow. My father will never understand my needs. My daughter can be quite tasking at times. She always wants the newest things. Personally, I'm fine with computer and food. All right, man. <laughs> computer and food. Sand slash. Sand slash have been training to become faster. Here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Quick Claw, awesome. Let's go in here. Have you ever tried giving your Pokemon a berry before entering a battle? Many berries can aid you in battle, so it's worth a shot. Well, of course. Yes, go to the top floor. I can't seem to find where I left that Moomoo -moo milk. Well, you'll probably smell it later. Bottom floor. All right. Wish I could try some ice cream. Too bad it's only sold in the Stell Town. I'd go, but it's really far from here. 
Interesting. Hey, how are you? I'm just making a sandwich for my son and I. My dad tells me not to sit so close to the television, but I'm too stubborn to listen to him. And I'm adding about 11 Pokemon so far, one of which is Champion, my idea for fighting type evolution. That's fun. Just have like big bulging rippling muscles. And pick a seer, the evolved form of Rapid Ash, which is fire flying. Cool. I like it. I think you've told me about Pegasir before. But I like the, the fire flying aspect. A boxing kangaroo? Oh, that's cool. Get out of here, kid. Can't believe that cool crown crew. Cool Clown Crew is here in Quantary City. I've been a fan of theirs ever since I was a little kid. I wonder if they're as great in person as they are on TV. Their tent is right over there, but I'm too nervous to approach them. Well, they aren't very nice. Contest Hall will go there in a little bit. Let's walk around and see if we can find anything. One day I want to leave the city and move to Grand Orb. I hear that construction is still going on there, so I won't be able to leave here anytime soon. Ooh, a Cyndaquil. My Cyndaquil and I often go to Woodloft Forest to get firewood for our, for our house. We always end up with so much charcoal though. I don't think we need all of it, so here, take one. Awesome, we have charcoal that boosts fire type moves, but guess what? We still haven't found a fire type Pokemon. Huge rock slide on our outside, but maybe that's why no one is allowed to go there right now. Yeah, I still haven't found really a fire type Pokemon. Trying to take him out, but he fuses and he thinks that his favorite show is stop. Let's go. Huh! It really makes me think that we should have went with with uh, Charmander from the beginning, not having a fire type. Because we've literally been able to find every other type. Can't wait for the next episode of Dragonite Ball Super. <laughs> Dragonite Ball Super. That's awesome. Yes, Charmander does rule. Charmander's pretty cool. I mean... To be honest, most of the starters are all pretty top tier. So I eat a day concerns my mother. She says it's keeping that going to die. And I'm going I'm gonna laugh. But she doesn't understand how nice they truly are. I'm not really up for this fat phobic kind of like every huskier sprite that I see is oh it talks about fat cakes. But this one yeah there's a few things about this this like it takes some cheap shots about for some things but it also like is progressive in other ways it just kind of shows that you know made by a flawed person just like everything else is doesn't excuse it it just kind of highlights the fact that it's not uh it's not easy you can't find the Twitter dial on this problem perhaps it's in woodlock or something you think you could check there i'd love to see one. Oh, okay um Maybe someone will point it out to them and they'll listen, grow, and make a better person. Yeah, I mean, totally. Like, that that's the hope, is, is, like, it's nice to see change, but, like, sometimes we have, we have to be the one that brings it up, unfortunately. Like, there has to be that catalyst for it. Berry juice. Dokimon before they made a TCG version for PC. Oh, that's cool. 
We had taco mac and cheese. Actually just got done eating it before stream. My bowl is right here. Of taco mac and cheese. I have myself a little bowl. It was quite delicious. Yes, it, it was good. And it's not, it doesn't take very long, you know? It's just essentially like you get some Velveeta and shells and uh, and you brown up some, we, we use ground turkey and throw in like a taco packet too, like a taco seasoning packet. You had pork chops and I'm still hungry, but I ate so much. Yeah, I could see that, that happens. That kind of stuff does. Cut a Pidgeotto down in Terry Square. It might have been the most powerful Pidgeotto to ever live. Oh, they have wild sections in the square. That's super cool. Love taking a break to smell the flowers. This is really neat. I like the having a section here, like in a park. Thinking we should do a movie day next month if we can and do anime movies. That sounds good. We could definitely do that. Do you have any specific anime movies in mind? Watch Ninja Scroll. Uh, that doesn't. I'm not familiar with that one. The Boy and the Beast. Okay, yeah, I know that one. What do you think about in there? Sure, we could watch some Ghibli movies if we wanted, you know. Because Ghibli movies are always just so, so great. And especially if we watch like an anime movie we both have never seen before. And we need like a good palette, palette cleanse. Gambling addiction. As a matter of fact, here, take this. I don't need any more. Coin case. Okay. Did you get to see the World Heroes Mission? Not yet. I have not. <laughs> I have not been able to see it. Um, yeah, I'd like. I need to start. I need to start um, buying more games. I don't have a lot of games. Um, or not games. Movies. I don't have. I haven't purchased a, a physical movie in a long time oh she said we stunk <laughs> that's hilarious i haven't bought a movie in a long time having all the streaming services makes it pretty um hard to kind of justify buying a lot of physical movies but it is nice. Should do it. Hello, hello. You look like just the right trainer I was looking for. My name is Mr. Thrifty, but you can just call me Mr. Thrifty. I'm represented from the Pokemart HQ, and I'm here today to tell you that we are soon going to release a brand new item. But only release for a few more months. Although we've started a contest amongst trainers that states that whoever can bring me the necessary ingredients first gets a massive discount on our new item along with early access. So what do you say? Are you up for it? Sure. I'll start you off with the first item on the list. It's called Silver Powder. You can find it in Woodlot Forest on a very specific flower. Bring me one of those and I'll tell you about the second item. Lost. Awesome. Comes out on DVD on Tuesday in Japan. Do they not have a 
international release dates or anything. Ooh. August and September. That's not too bad. Is it gonna be on, like, Funimation or anything soon? Definitely buy it. I have all the other movies and seasons. Not that I see, but fingers crossed. Okay. I, it looked really good. I, uh... I have enjoyed all the other movies for my hero. And I've watched Jackie use Black, Black, Whip, Black Whip in some really cool ways. That's cool. I'm excited to kind of see um, more. Like, I kind of... I haven't read uh, in the manga, but I've heard spoilers on the interwebs about some stuff that he will be able to do and some, some of the arcs that are going to be coming up and things like that, so I'm excited. What do you need? Maple. Um, hi, my name is Maple and I've been such a huge fan of yours since I was a little girl. And I was wondering if you could possibly give me some pointers on what it takes to become a great coordinator like you. Oh, yeah, sure. First, you can start by picking your sorry self up, removing your face from my line of sight. That is intense. <laughs> yeah, some of his, his other quirks are pretty cool and how he uses them. Like, I know he has, like, he'll have danger sense, um, which he, like, he keeps on pretty much all the time. Um, but, like, his friends don't trigger it, which is interesting, which is kind of something that um, happened to Spider-Man for a while. That wasn't nice. Since they were all top coordinators, but I guess this field just wasn't meant for me. Oh, would you look at that? We are at five uh, people hanging out with us. I see we have our other VIP. Vinny is hanging out with us today. Awesome. Hello. Very cultural compared to the rest of the cities. We're sorry. I used to participate in contests. I stopped because I could never beat those guys in concerts. They were really tough. How cool Deku is. <laughs> Deku is really cool. He's he is a pretty fun main character. Like he doesn't have a lot of the issues that like other animes main characters have, like it being like jerks or annoying or dumb. Like he's really smart. Um, and he's a very likable character in my opinion. This contest hasn't started yet, so we cannot only to hope you can understand. You should not care for my life. He reminds me of a lot of things I really enjoy about superheroes. Yeah, like, he he definitely has one of those... You can definitely tell he... Once he had a quirk and started, was able to really use it, his confidence grew too. And so he was able to really befriend those around him. Um, and use his intellect in, in interesting ways, I thought. Um... Like, I know a lot of people want him to have, like, a secret quirk of being smart, which could be really cool, but it's not really necessary. He can just be a smart person who was born with no quirk. But yeah, a furret. Well, now, we have a centret, but we haven't evolved it. I like it more as they show him being more... In Inventive and clever rather than just being powerful. Same. Like, my my biggest uh, criticism of the first season was while we get to see him doing these big, powerful things. Ooh, electric. I like electric. Um, big, powerful things. A lot of times we just hear how awesome he's going to be um, without actually showing how awesome he is. Just because he does, like, has an explosive force of power doesn't mean he is an amazing hero in its own right. Like, they kind of talk about that, how he has to be able to control it. But they talk about how amazing he is in the first season all the time. 
um, without actually showing him being amazing uh, in those instances. Yeah, making it a power in your opinion attracts from opponents. Yeah, like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with have it, having uh, a super intellect as a power. Nothing wrong with that. That's actually a really fun power that you can lay into, that you can lean into in a lot of different ways. But for him to not have a quirk, for it to be kind of a hidden quirk like intelligence, um, revealed later to me is kind of a cop out. Like if they were gonna do it, I'd I'd like to see him like go full force, lean into like the weird mutation quirks. I like those kind of quirks because it shows how even in that society how um, prejudiced they are with mutative quirks. Like a person who has, let's say, multiple arms. Like if they're like um, if they have actual multiple arms, they are always using their quirk all the time because that's it's a mutation quirk. But someone who can fly would have to get would have to get their quirk registered and approved to be able to use flight without a hero license. But that's weird because it's like saying because you have wings, um, like or a character who can fly with wings, it's part of their body. You know, why why should they have to be registered as a hero to be able to use just whatever's part of their bodies? Like, could Hawk just fly? without having be a registered hero. But then you have to... A quirk is always part of your body, yes, but like um, Todoroki, for example, he can shoot fire from one side and ice from another. Obviously, he has to kind of turn that on and off. With flight, you turn it on and off, but we... It's, it's weird because it's not like, it isn't something that's putting people in immediate danger as much as flying. Flying could be, be putting people in immediate danger, especially if you are flying into windows or you are in, um, flying into like the middle of like crowded airspace where, where planes are flying and things like that. There are a lot of complications, but it kind of, it shows kind of where they shift their importance and preference and how they categorize um, what is safe quirk use. So doesn't that then discriminate people using without visible quirks if we're just finding unlicensed power use for those mutation quirks based on the inheritance of the quirk? Kind of, yeah. I mean, uh, if your quirk you have to turn on or off um, and you have to have that... Um, license to be able to turn it to be able to use it in public and turn it on in public yeah there is a discriminatory thing um but like if a character just has like multiple arms yes i i know i that's why i used it um uh but like if he had multiple arms and he's just like carrying groceries with more than just the two arms that um a typical person has he's technically using his quirk without a license but it's not but like he, he's not using it to endanger anybody which checks off a, like the box of using it um using it correctly and within um within his kind of realm of understanding but if someone had wings and could fly with as much um uh, uh, control as someone else who could do something without hurting somebody. I mean, I could definitely see uh, there being there being uses for like multiple different kinds of licenses. So instead of like, why would you have to just be a hero? Like, could you if your if your quirk allowed you to fly, whether by wings or just floating or things like that? Maybe you should have a quirk expend like expenditure license. Like, let me like. Just show me that you have a handle on your quirk so you know uh, what its direct and indirect consequences of use are. How do you use that in public? 
um, how to use that in private, and what are the ethical implications of your quirk, things like that. Like, it maybe expand it instead of it just being hero, villain, this is how we use our quirks. If they, because we know that they also, um, that they also allow quirk use for jobs but they make it seem like you have to get a hero's license to be able to do that that's why uraka well no uraka wanted to become a hero to make a lot of money so her parents didn't want to do things but um she also thought about using her power to help out her parents in construction which would make a lot of sense that would be a great use of that power in fact that should be like an encouraged use of those kind of powers like hey does your power allow you to move Earth? Um, you don't, and you don't want to risk your life every day by being a hero. Come work for this company, you know, and you can get a license for your quirk to use it for this job. That would be fantastic. Like, do you have a particular set of skills that you can utilize every day to make money? Great. Let's make sure you can do that. Good geokinetic quirk. <laughs> Yeah, Earth, Earth powers would be really cool. I think, um, I have a character who's, their their powers are weather related, but it's weather based on what what um, they, like if, if a, like a superhero system were to utilize different planets and we would travel to different planets, I would be able to use, sense, manipulate the weather on whatever planet I'm on. So if like, like Earth weather, I can sense and things like that and do things. But if I go to a different planet that has a different kind of weather that let's say it rains acid or diamonds, like on Venus, it rains diamonds or something like that. Then I could manipulate that weather. That would be really cool. Um, we need a good name for Spinda. Spinda. It looks like a little teddy bear with, with uh, sleepy eyes. Spinda. Poe? Alright, I dig it. <laughs> but yeah, so I had a character idea for... It was... I call it... Um, oh gosh, what was it? It, it? The power or quirk would be called... Planetary... It, it would first start off as planetary sense. That it would just be a sensory type power where you would um you could sense the ooh a magnemite i love how the variety of pokemon in this area that you could sense what the weather was in different parts of the world um just by kind of like focusing like it would definitely be based on concentration um so you we need a thunderstone we do we need multiple thunderstones because i would like a raichu um, but to, but as their power evolves, they can utilize and manipulate the weather, um, of, of earth, which I think would be really cool. Did we ever get an Eevee? No, we did not. We did not get an Eevee. But yeah, so in the first way that they would be able to manipulate weather would be if there was, it could only uh, emulate weather that was currently happening somewhere on the earth. So there would have to be, um, there would have to be a certain kind of weather happening for that person to be able to emulate that, that weather anomaly locally where they are, which I think would be super cool. Um, cause it would show like a really fun limitation for a re potentially, um, immense and like OP power. Oh, I threw a dive ball. I wanted to throw a great ball. That's, that's my bad. Why did I throw a dive ball? 
There we go. Great ball. There it is. There we go. We caught ourselves a Magnemite. The units on its sides are extremely powerful magnets. They generate enough magnetism to draw in iron objects from over 300 feet away. We need a good nickname for our Magnemite. Magnadoodle? Oh, no. Magnemite. Ma well, of course we could do Magneto. Or, um... Uh, Polaris or what's a good Magnemite name hmm Railgun yeah there we go Railgun all right let's hop out of here and where do we need to go now where do we need to go Screwbolt Screwbolt would be good too is there a... Let's check our map. Let's see. We can go north, or we just came from the south. And west rounds us back. Okay. But there are police. Or something. Police officer, I'm sorry, but we have... Some of our units investigating past this point. Please understand. Okay. So there's something happening. Probably something that we need to solve. Check this one too. Alright. Let's heal up our Pokemon and let's go see what we need to do here. Ooh, I saw your list of gems, uh, Grid. Grass, water, fire. I like it. Homage to, uh, to the wheel. Um, bear Pokemon, Steel, Electric, Eevee, and Fairy. No dual type gyms? Or, um... Alright. Oh, all the Elite Four or dual type? I see, I see, I see. That's gonna be intense. That is going to be pretty tough, I think. All right, so what do we need to do here? Oh, we should go back and check out that spot. Um, and see if there's any, uh, cause we didn't quite explore the, um, the opposite of the side. Ooh, what's that over there? Yeah. So much grassy area here. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's an awful, awful death cry. Regina grew to level 30. Fantastic. All right, let's move. Let's move uh, Wilma over. Actually, no. Let's leave that there. Let's give um, Wilma the um, EXP share. Let's see. Oh, it can't be used. Okay, I gotta add it. Alright, I gotta give it to you. There we go. No, come on! There we go. GIF. There we go. And we'll put Poison Bar back on you. Right. Yanma.
Big oof. Big oof. Wait, I think that's it. Is that it? Okay. I thought there'd be more to explore there. That's fine. Um, Let's run, because I think there's a, a little grassy area we didn't explore, because we went across the bridge. And go north here. Oh no, we did explore here. We did do that. That's right. So I think there's a lady up there. Who I was disappointed didn't heal us. Yeah. There we go. Now... Hmm. Should I fish here? Should I? Let's fish. Let's fish and see. Oh, I can't fish from here. Okay. But I can fish... Here, though. So we'll go over here to this area. Maybe there's some fun fish-type Pokemon that are over here. Yeah, we can't fish off the bridge, which is disappointing. I can't use that here either? Mmm, I don't like that. Yeah, I guess. Really solid team member for Gen 3. I would choose one when I start with Gen Ah, okay. I mean, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good grass Pokemon to have if you, if you start with the, the fire in Gen 3, so, I can see that. Oh, we need this Surskit. Let's, uh, let's switch to Wilma. I know, I know we're going to be type disadvantage more, most likely, because I think Surs gets part water. I don't remember. Um, let's throw in a stealth rock. And let's do a smackdown. And that was super effective. Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, well, it kind of looks like we're in a spot, a good spot to stop and save. Let's, let's go and heal up again. And let's save. Save again. Always gotta, always gotta end with a double save. Always gotta end with that double save. So I want to say thank you to everyone who hung out with me. Thank you to my VA, VIPs, Grid and Prince Pyro Vinny. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for my lurkers. I see you. Uh, I recognized you. You don't have to chat if you don't want to, but we would more than appreciate it. Um, and go ahead and give me a follow. That'd be awesome. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Check me out over on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube as well, where this will be posted tomorrow, noon Central Standard Time, at Mr. Retro, M-M-R-R-E-T-R-O. That's two M's, two R's, E-T-R-O. I'm going to check out over at... I'm going to post you guys over to Guilty Cosplay. She's doing some music right now. She is a little... Um, if you are a little younger, she usually does a little bit more adult um, things, not that kind of adult, but more 
um, adult oriented things. So make sure that you guys give her a follow. She is fantastic. She does a lot of stuff with um, Total Party Chill and I love watching her in that element. She does a lot of fun things with her characters. So we're gonna go raid Guilty Cosplay. So again, thank you guys for watching and I will check you guys out later. Bye.